Hi guys, and welcome to Remarkable Moms, where I talk to Rye Moms doing remarkable things. I'm Liz Woods, and in this four-part series, I interview my friend and neighbor, Kelly Greer. What's great about Kelly is that she does so much for our community, and yet you would never know it but just by meeting her on the street. She's extremely humble about all of her kind actions. She has served on the board of trustees for the community synagogue, for the Rye Art Center. She has been the president of the auxiliary board for the Rye Library. She currently serves on the Human Rights Commission in Rye, and she's also the board chair at the Community Resource Center in Mimernick. So what's really cool about her is that she serves here in Rye, and yet she does things for the community beyond Rye. Her family also supports something called the Seed Project, which is a nonprofit in Senegal, which we'll talk about in our interview too. I'm really excited to get this going, and I just want to say a quick thank you for all the views we've been getting, over 2,200 views, and I'm nearly at my goal of getting 100 subscribers on YouTube. So if you haven't hit the red subscribe button, please do that today and become part of the community that's changing the world a little bit every day. Remarkable Moms. Hi guys, so I'm here today with Kelly Greer. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Kelly is the mom of two boys, ages 10 and 8, and she is best known for being a philanthropist and educator. She is a native of California, and she's here today to tell us all about her works of service and how she dedicates her time to our community. I know that you volunteer here in Rye, but you also do many things beyond Rye, um, and specifically at the Community Resource Center in Mamaroneck. Um, can you tell us why the Community Resource Center? Sure. Uh, the Community Resource Center is a community-based nonprofit that provides a, a variety of critical um, services and advocacy for new immigrants. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, people who are new, newly arrived to kind of Lower Westchester can come to the Community Resource Center, and we help them with everything from, you know, sort of how to enroll your kids in school. We provide um, immigration support, legal services, um, a variety of educational programs um, so that new immigrants can learn English, um, can increase their job, their, their skills for, for, for jobs. Um, and then we provide a lot of um, different kinds of advocacy based on what their needs are. Um, I, my connection to the organization is, is a personal one because I am the daughter of, of an immigrant from Honduras. Mm -hmm. um, my mom immigrated to uh, California from Honduras when she was six years old. And so my family experienced a lot of the, the challenges um, that new immigrants face and also were able to build a, a good life for themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that my grandparents um, had access to ESL courses at right. that time. It was the 1950s. Um, there was a real emphasis on assimilation and learning English as quickly as possible. Um, my mom, who had completed kindergarten in Honduras, repeated it in the U.S. Um, mm -hmm. and was kind of thrown into a classroom where she had to learn English in order to figure out what was going on. Right. Yes. So it's really full circle where you experience life as a daughter of an immigrant and now you're helping people in that same situation. Okay, so when I think yeah. about the families that are coming here today, and my family, I mean, the only difference in my mind is timing and luck. I mean, my family came mm -hmm. at a time when it was, it was easier to immigrate. And, um, but it was still the same factors that were driving my family, that, that, that are driving families here today. And that's, but, but today there's a kind of violence in Central America that is so extreme um, where you have just generations of traumatized people. And, and when I think about how my family would survive in today's mm -hmm. Honduras. It's just, it's heartbreaking for mm -hmm. me. What would you say are some of the fears of these immigrants and some of the challenges, sure. the biggest challenges that they're facing? So we serve, at the Community Research Center, we serve uh, about 4,000 people a year. Mm -hmm. um, on a weekly basis, we have 600 people come through our doors. Wow. And um, right now, I would say the biggest um, concerns have to do with immigration status and you know their stories are inspiring because they are you know they are the American dream they want to go to school they want to contribute they want to work right they here. want to work and and 
They are. They are working there. There's a real risk for family separation. Mm -hmm. um, if a parent is undocumented and has U.S. born children, mm -hmm. the children are American citizens and the parents are at risk for being deported. Mm -hmm. So in 2017, um, because of a series of executive orders that created a lot of fear in the immigrant community, we've, we responded at the Community Resource Center by addressing their specific needs. And unfortunately, um, one of the most urgent needs is, is, is helping them prepare for the worst case scenario, mm -hmm. which is family separation, okay, deportation. No, horrible. So um, we help families figure out what happens, you know, what happens to your children. Mm -hmm. So um, we partnered with uh, lawyers and um, we create these legal documents that specify for these families what happens to their children in the event of a deportation, what happens to their assets. And this has been very, very um, Ch difficult and challenging mm -hmm. work, but so, so important for these families, mm -hmm. um, helping them assign parental designees for their children. Um, and then the other piece is that in the event of separation, um, there, you know, there's the issue of finances and, and keeping their, their family safe here. So we have had to also help them with financial planning and again, preparing for the worst case scenario mm -hmm. so that they do have some control over what happens to their family mm -hmm. if the family is separated. Okay guys, stay tuned for the upcoming videos with Kelly where we talk about raising boys, um, teaching diversity to our own children, how we as Rai moms and our families can help out at the Community Resource Center, and did you know Kelly is a boxer? Stay tuned for all that. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Susan Parrish for this amazing mug. Can you see that? How awesome is that? Thank you. See you guys soon.